Hey, what up y'all? Mr. Cruz here, the hardest worker in the room back with another video. Today's video, I'm going to show you guys this issue that I had had with, um, with a recent collaboration where when I dropped in the files, um, from the, these loops that somebody else sent me, the files were stretched out across almost the entire session of FL. I'm going to show you guys how to fix that. If you've ever had that issue. Okay. So the issue that I had, um, I was working on a collaboration. I made this beat and then I sent it to a friend of mine. And then I told him like, Hey man, you're really good at pianos. You're really good at like this boom bap stuff. Like I need some boom bap flavor to this beat. So he recorded his stuff and then he sent it back to me, except when I dropped those files into FL, this is what they look like. Actually, just for the sake of here, let me, um, change my BPM to the correct one. All right. So I dropped them in here and look what happens. You see that they're all stretched out. Now, if I zoom out far enough, you will see that they are actually audio files, right? So let's go ahead and try to play this. Right. You're, you're pretty much not going to be able to hear anything because it's like so stretched out, but look at that. That's, uh, I mean, that's mid yeah, 124 minutes. So this is a two hour long loop that he sent me. So here is the issue. Um, whatever DAW that he's using, uh, he says that he uses something called Beatmaker Pro. So he said that he's always had this issue, but the way that you resolve this issue is you click on it, right? And it'll bring up the sampler. And in the sampler, you have to right click on time, all right? Right click on time. Uh, and then you hit project tempo and then Boom. Now you can actually hear that it's, it actually works. So let's listen back to it now. Ah, go back to the beginning and it's on tempo. So, all right. So there you go. If you've ever had that issue, this is how you resolve it. You pretty much drop the session, uh, drop the file, not drop the file, but open up sampler, right click on time and then select project tempo. All right. And then you should be all set with every single one of these. I don't know why that is, but he said that he used to have FL studio and that this was always, always, always an issue whenever he was transferring files back and forth between FL and uh, Beatmaker pro. So that's what I got for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Got something from it. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you leave them in the comment section below. Make sure you also like comment and subscribe. It's your boy, Mr. Cruz out.